Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're in Blender and I'm super excited about this add-on that I found. I used to do um, like architectural 3D stuff um, back when I used Lightwave um, but then I moved over to Blender and then it was quite a lot more involved um, but I have found an add-on. Uh, if you go into, if this is what your thing is, if you go into File, User Preferences, click on Add-ons, type in ARCH, and you'll come up with Add Mess Archie Mesh. Okay, uh, this will generate rooms, doors, windows, and other architecture objects. Click on Save User Settings, and then come out of that. And then if you come down here on your menu system, you'll see Archie Mesh. Um, which will give you a room, column, door, rail windows, panel window, cabinet shelves, stairs, roofs, and you've also got props, believe it or not, which is books, lamp, Phoenician blinds, roller curtains, and Japanese curtains. Um, I've not really looked too far into it because I only found out about it today. Um, but if you click on room, you see you start off with a wall. Um, I think like the standard height is 2.4 which I believe is the uh, average height for a room so we just set it back down to zero um, and if you come over here you may need to pull your uh, menu out on the right side um, and then we've got down here number of walls so we can just make this one a little bit longer Okay, and then we just zoom out a bit, and then we're on zoom uh, wall two, and then wall two we'll just make. I mean, you can type in there whatever number you want, say two, and then the next one may need to be on a minus. Um, unfortunately, I'm having a few problems with my mouse, so you'll have to excuse me. If you come down here and then wall 3 will be like minus 3 and then wall 4 will be minus 2 and then what you can do is you've got these little buttons here and this one is to close off the wall so you click on it and it closes it off Alright should have done anyway if we go back to wall. There we go, let's close it off. Okay, and then if you click on FLO, which is floor automatically, and the ceiling automatically. And then if we go inside, where there we are, we have our own little our own little room that we can build upon. Um, if we take our light and then we just bring it down and then into the room we'll quickly change the renderer to cycles render and then I want to change my device to GPU and then we'll come up here to rendered oh the light's a little bit bright so what we'll do is we'll just bring it down a tad So I just bring that down, and you can obviously change the light color to whatever you like. Um, we can actually change the wall colors and go back into our sort of material and then click on a wall, um, and it is on the where is it? Here. 
Here we go. So you can actually change the colour of your walls. You know, if you know the size of your room, um, you can pretty much map it out. And say you want like, um, say you want to decorate, then you can like, you know, you can just change the colour to whatever you like. You think, oh yeah, I like that. Um, obviously, we've got all these props in here. Um, I've got lamp books. I don't know what books are. Well, I know what books are. But <laughs> yes, I know what books are. Um, but before you come out, we'll see if we can find them. Oh, there they are. There's our books. Okay. So it's brought in. Wow, loads of books. Anyway, you can mess around with that yourself and have a little looky, see what it's all about. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel where we'll be bringing you more videos and hopefully my mouse will be working a tad better. Oh, there we go. Let's just give it a quick render. I know it's a floating book, but it could be Harry Potter's house. There we go, Harry Potter's house. Um, so there you go, there's a quick render. Uh, as you can see there, you've got your um, skirting board and everything else. So anyway, there we go. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.